Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pace Studio. Right now we are very excited to have Eleanor Friedberger with us. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Eleanor has a great new record out soon, May 4th, called Rebound. We're really excited about it at Paste. Have been listening to it nonstop pretty much. Wow, thanks. Um, yeah, it's great. So uh, tell us about the first song you're going to play for us today. It's called In Between Stars. It's the first song that we put out. We, the universal. We, um, and I wrote it on the piano. I've never played the piano in front of anyone before. I think. Ever? I mean, in front of like more than one person cool. or two people. So, so this um, is exciting. Yeah. So now whoever's watching is going to see this experiment. Um, but I wrote the song on the piano, and I write songs on the piano sometimes. But it's uh, this is a first. Do you want to know anything else about it? If you're willing to share, <laughs> sure. No. If no, not, I'm, you can just play it. I'm just gonna play it. Cool. Greece very much inspired this record. Um, you are half Greek, correct? It's and true, something yeah. I remember reading a lot about during your fiery furnaces days. So you've put this into your music before, but I feel like this record is very like warm and full sounding in a new way for you. So how did spending time in Greece and Athens specifically sort of translate to that sound? It's funny that you just said warm and what was the other word? Full. full. Yeah. <laughs> because to me, it's uh, it's the opposite sounding, as opposed to my last record, which I would describe as warm and full. There's like a five piece band playing. Mm -hmm. We played, you know, live to tape in a barn upstate. And this, I wanted to do the opposite, you know, so I wanted to have totally artificial sounds. Maybe poppier? Maybe poppier. I think drum machines, you know, translate to poppy. Yeah, it kind of sounds like summer to me. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> I wrote most I'm of the songs in the winter. Yeah, no, I, it's fun to hear everyone's interpretation, and I, I hate to, like, spoil whatever you feel about it. Go ahead. It, you know, but no, I, I wanted it to, to kind of sound um, 
a little more harsh, actually, and uh, like I said, have artificial sounds with synthesizers and drum machines and sound like one person alone in a lonely room um, and have a sense of alienation and um, I don't know. I don't, it's funny to think, I, I've been, been describing like a feeling of disappointment, which is, is, is a strange thing to want people to um, get from your record. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was feeling kind of disappointed in my own, in my life, and I think a lot of people were at the same time. When I went to Athens in January of last year, um, I really wanted to get out of this place, um, and uh, I spent a couple of months in Athens, and um, I, I went with the idea that I was going to do a lot of writing there. But it was really more of just I had too much fun in a way and went out a lot and formed a new band there and played a few shows and I went to a nightclub called Rebound which is where the album gets its name um, which was an after hours nightclub that uh, I don't know it kind of it felt like the kind of place that I imagined um, would be in New York City in the 80s but I never got to experience that and I still kind of have romantic ideas about New York and the places that um, I could have gone to, but that no longer exist. Um, and that kind of atmosphere still exists in Athens, you know, sometimes for sad reasons because of the economic crisis there, but it feels a little bit lawless um, in a way that I think is, you know, like poetic and romantic, which isn't fair for the people who live there, but um, it was inspiring for sure. Yeah, so I guess the fun is what I'm hearing. Yeah, That's what translated that was to the a, record. a rambling way of saying it. Yeah. I, I, I did have fun, and when I came home to write the songs, that fun was, you know, inserted into the music, yeah. I guess. That's always nice to have a kind of layered meaning to something, you know? So. I'm into double, multiple meaning and multiple meanings. Sure. Uh, so tell us about the next song you're going to play. I'm going to play a song called um, Make Me a Song. That was directly inspired by someone I met in Athens. Um, and there's so many words, I don't think I should say anything more about it. Can I just listen to the words? Sure. A pre-dawn song to open up the ground. We found the sound. Now give me a song. I could love you more. I could love you more It's not about being pretty It ain't about being perfect It's that little piece of matter The tough hide of being I could love you more I could love you more Make me a song Make me a sound Vibrate, resonate
53 octaves below middle C There's a B flat where a wave every year crashes I could love you more I could love you more Let us dance up that water Let us have ears to hear A song to agree with A sound to cheer I could love you more I could love you more Make me a song Make me a sound Make me a song Make me a sound Vibrate, resonate Make me a song Make me a sound Make me a song, make me a sound Vibrate, resonate Thank you Awesome, thank you um, So you brought up thank New you. York Which I was hoping we could talk about for a minute Because I feel like you're saying you're nostalgic for like the 80s and stuff and I feel like I'm nostalgic for like the Good. year 2006 and 2007 oh, and like times <laughs> when I would go see the fiery furnaces for wow. example um so it's interesting because you don't live in the city anymore right no I don't so it's yeah and a lot's changed in you know the past few years so um you know you you're kind of experiencing a scene in Athens that is different so what do you think of like what's happening in New York now like is it still s sustainable the kind of like great DIY scene that it's fostered for so long no <laughs> yeah that's how I mean but I, but to be honest I wouldn't know because I you know I, I moved away four years ago and I'm sure there are younger people who are doing things that they need to do to get by and, you know, making things happen. But I just, I'm just not connected to it. So, um, and maybe that's my own fault. But I, I you know, I, so once I moved away, I, I really did kind of um, give up <laughs> trying to keep <laughs> up, you know? Do you feel like that maybe has given you some sense of like clarity and like, because I feel like a lot of people I know are like, I'm leaving New York, but nobody's done it yet. Um, well, I, I'm really lucky because I, I moved to a place where um, I, I, you know, I got a place with a friend and I feel like, and the people that I know who have moved upstate, they're, they're making their own communities up there. I know that sounds kind of hippy dippy, but it's true, you know, and we have a lot of space and we can have a lot of people come and do things. And um, it's, you know, we're not having strangers come to, our house for shows or anything like that. But I mean, it's just, it's taken on, um, you know, I, I don't, I don't miss going to parties. I guess is the <laughs> bottom line. I can have my own party and, and, um, enjoy it as much or whatever. I don't know if that answers your question, Yeah. but, um, yeah, no, I mean the best part of the job for me still is getting to travel and go to other places. So I, I don't have to live in New York um, to still get that sense. I, you know, I can discover new things all the time in other places. Um, and for me, I, you know, living in New York City just wasn't uh, a practical way to live. I mean, I would have to get another job. Right. <laughs> Which I don't want to do. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. Either. I mean, I would do your what you're doing. That this looks like fun. You could come work here. <laughs> I'm sure we would. We would be happy to have you. Well, I don't want to take your job, <laughs> but we can share an office. Oh, really? Okay. Sure. Okay. Um, yeah, right. but but you're having fun doing what you're doing, so I would recommend that you continue on that path and make another great record. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. Um, so tell us about this last song you're gonna play. I'm gonna play a song called "Are We Good." Do you know it? No. <laughs> um, it's, it's not one of the songs that have been released out into the world yet. So this is its debut, maybe. Exciting. At least on the guitar. I've done, I've done it at some shows. Um, it's one of my favorite ones. And it's kind of like a puzzle. Do you play guitar? I play bass. Okay. Well, when me when you see me play it, maybe you'll see why it's kind of like a puzzle. But the the I, I really like the lyrics and people 
who have heard the song really seem to like the lyrics too. So the version on the record is really fun and this is gonna sound less fun. It's gonna just, you're gonna listen to the words, which I th hope you like. They, are, they're all, they all come from text messages, mostly written by me, so I don't wanna get the other person in trouble, but text messages between me and another person. And that's the song. Okay. for a man last night She said yes they cried and we kissed I've got three lines on TV tonight Thank you great and yes I'll go to ZZ Top and lose my mind Save me a seat if you can find Is it still love? It's much less complicated than that. A new policy, I guess it's peace. You're not even guessing in the right language. That was very cool. Um, so <laughs> Rebound is the record, mm -hmm. and you're playing Bowery Ballroom tomorrow night. It's true. Record release, we'll call record it. Record release party show. Yeah, everyone should be there. Uh, Eleanor, thank you for being here. This was an honor. Thank you for having me.